Hello everyone, oh, I am making a tutorial on how I do the Sabbath School uh, lesson review presentations more efficiently how I do it, uh, how it is doable with only little effort. As you see in the YouTube, we are used to people who are presenting very fast. Yeah? Very fast, people present, tap, 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 and uh, the basis for this is Ellen White saying that we should present uh, by enthusiasm and perseverance will the work be done in the book Evangelism. So let us be tap, 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 we're enthusiastic, positive, nice because our message is actually very profitable and nice and worth the enthusiasm yeah enthusiasm so, <clears throat> uh, one more idea is uh, jesus came to the temple on the sabbath and he stood up and read so that is uh, my simple uh, methodology of teaching i just read whatever that the lesson quarterly says uh, read if you look in the lesson quarterly, this is the, the website I use, SSNet. And for example, I click Adult Sabbath School Lesson. I click this one. I put the mouse here. For example, now is 2023, Managing for the Master. And it comes out here. And then I click the quarterly index of weekly lessons. And I just gave today is February 11. I just uh, finished this one, laying up treasure in heaven. So this first link, if you right click it, excuse me. If you right click the first link, it shows you the lesson as it is and to the list of your brethren etc etc this is the normal layout of the lesson but in my own understanding the most important things are in the bible secondarily the second important thing are the spirit of prophecy statements and passages and then we can put our lessons, our opinions, our stories, and uh, other things. So let us prioritize <clears throat> because it is God's word that is the most powerful. And then why it says one line of scripture is more value than 10,000 of man's ideas and uh, philosophies. So we, I try to read all of the verses. Yeah. All of this, it says read, 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 read. I put all of this, read, read, read. I put all of this in the presentation. And that is God's word. It is the most powerful thing. And in my observation, it is what they like. The, the sheep know the master's voice. And many people have complimented that they like how I do the the lesson it is not me that they like it is god's word that they like so i'm trying to influence you to prioritize reading the bible because this is adult bible study guide this is just a guide the lesson is actually the bible yeah bible study guide first quarter 2023 so this is a guide to the bible the bible is the lesson actually and then we have the spirit of prophecy that we are sure it is correct. And then we have this author. But by the way, the author of this thing, I really, really highly admire because he's an ordained pastor and he's also a lawyer and he's also an accountant. Lawyer has never lost a case in court when he spoke in GYC, he said. And he does that because his methodology of studying, he has to study like in a case, yeah, in court. 
that's the study of all of the possible questions that the opponent can, can ask you. So you have to study both the positive and the negative side, both sides. Any issue in the Bible, he said, we have to study that way. So priority is to read everything in the Bible. Second priority is to read everything in spirit of prophecy references. And then we can tell our stories, opinions, whatever, if there is time. Of course, there will be no time. If you read all of these things that is being said to read, read Isaiah 61, read Matthew 1, 11, 1 to 6, and then decide of ages. Read, 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 read. If you read all of this, you will run out of 30 minutes. Now, the question is how to manage attention because you only have 30 minutes normally. I wish it was one, one and a half hour because this is a class and in a university we have about one and a, hour, and a half hour per class. However, we only have about 35 minutes. Let's do what we can. And Friday is the best because it has plenty. So where, how do I copy and paste all of these references into the PowerPoint? I made a tool to do this. But we have first to find where are all the references. Going back to SSNet, you will see here, my friends, for example, onto the list. This is the lesson. If you go to here, this link is the, you will see, these are all the references. The SSNet references. Everything that this says you read SSNet people thank you for putting all the references here these are all the bible and sop quotes that are in the lesson yeah but some of them are not here but most of them are here and if you see the scroll bar it's quite small usually it's smaller you can just copy and paste all of this <clears throat> and that's what i do there are only few verses and that are not verbatimly all of them here. And I think they left that out because they are too long or not so much important. But all of them are here. <clears throat> Most of them are here. I copy this. And then I have a tool which I... So you have to know where to get it. You have to know SSNet. You have to find the lesson index. You have to find the date. And you have to read the outline, read this, where are we going every day to get an idea. And then we have to copy this one. All of the references we have to copy. And then the third website that you have to learn how to use, I just made this uh, to help me prepare in the Sabbath school. But you can use it. It's this one. It's the, I call it Splitter. <clears throat> I use this for lyrics and also for uh, lesson review. So how many characters do you want maximum per slide? So what I have observed and experimented from my experimentations, I put 160 characters per slide. So I put this one. The others, yes, you can ignore them because we are not going to use them. I just put 160 and one line per group. When I click, okay, one more thing. Okay, this is the most of the things. But there is one more thing that I want to add. I have another tool that doesn't work very well, but there's a functionality that I need from this one. Initially, I was using this. This is the URL. You can look at it and copy it and use it for example 2023 lesson uh, we are lesson number seven first quarters lesson number seven if you click this it's supposed to automatically get all the lesson from ssnet and try to parse it but some of the parsing doesn't work <laughs> because of inconsistencies on how they specify things, uh, especially long ranges of Bible texts. 
so it doesn't always work but i want to copy this outline the parsing automatic parsing of the outline i just copy it from here to save on copy and pasting one by one and then i paste it on the top here in the other splitter.php yeah so i have the outline and i have all the references and then i click submit and it's 160 characters maximum per line you see i'm going to split this whole long text into lines of maximum 160 characters and all of the this is the idea because <clears throat> this is the idea in powerpoint there is a function in powerpoint my friends there is a function named uh there is a function here new slide it says slides from outline and you will see the amazingness of this if i click slides from outline and i click one of those uh, texts that i did like this laying up treasure in heaven a while ago i did this one look what happens all of the bible texts will come in automatically look at this see it looks like this but i have a layout which is only title okay this is what i do i try to i'll make a new one i'll try to open the old one and then i try to delete everything no i try to save us i mean this is the old one save us and what is the title for today to the list of your brethren Unto the list of this, unto the list of this, unto the list of this PowerPoint. I save it there. Now we have a new PowerPoint with the old contents. The reason I copy the old contents is because I have a special layout that is very nice. This one is for my live stream where I put my face on one side. And the other layout is for my full screen presentation right in in front of the IC with a big monitor with a small 32 inch uh, big TV. So I can just change the layout very quickly with this. I made this layout using um, you have to click here view uh, slide master. Yeah, and then you can tinker with the layout and the font style and in my experiment i choose already that size and this style and i have two of them so i just copy it like this other one bigger and this i just added this and then you close and then this presentation will now have uh you can choose the layout yeah title only title only either for PIC or for live stream this one a live stream I like to do it like this sometimes so I have a new PowerPoint now unto the list of this I'm going to delete all of the contents because the contents are laying up treasure in heaven I'm going to delete all of them and I'm going to so we have now a ready PowerPoint that there are no slides now let's prepare our text yeah, 160 slides, uh, characters per line. I'm going to click submit here, and this is the this is the result. The maximum is 160 characters, and another line is created. Yeah, so these are all the things that will come into the PowerPoint. Now I'm going to just copy and paste this from here. To the end copy and paste and then right click copy and then I'm going to start notepad 
and I'm going to paste it here. As you see, it's about 400 lines only. And I'm going to save it as unto the list of this. And it should be not UTF-8, it should be ANSI. Otherwise, because the website was UTF-8, it should be ANSI. Otherwise, all of those double quotes will look very funny. So this is what I discovered. It should be ANSI. And then we save it onto the list of this ANSI. Okay, text ANSI. And then we can close this and see what happens. In PowerPoint, onto the list of this, I'm always saying the, the file name because you have to see what you're doing. Sometimes you overwrite the whole, the wrong one. You are, we get confused where we are. So I'm in the file onto the list of this brother, and I'm going to insert all of those onto the list.txt in ANSI format. Yeah? Slide from outline. You'll see insert slide from outline. It's this one. And you click insert. What will happen? 400 slides automatically there okay <clears throat> you see all of them there how do you format it nicely control a layout what do you want you have one like this okay no problem so all of them now 399 slides are all like this see the double quotes are correct Double codes are correct because we converted it to ANSI. Now all I have to do, my friends, <clears throat> is read all of the slides. By the way, before I even attempt to do this, there's another website. So this one I can now close, 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 and close. Onto the list of this. However, I always want to watch easily in it is written. So I go to YouTube, it's written, and then I paste it onto the list of the brethren. <coughs> and oh, it is not yet published. Okay, I'll just go direct to YouTube. And look for it is written. Hopefully it will be here. It's not yet here. Okay. We are too early. It's not yet here. But I usually want to watch the it is written version because it's only 30 minutes and the author is the one who wrote actually the usually the, it is the one who wrote the Sabbath school lesson. Let me see if I can find them here. Okay, it's still laying up treasure in heaven. After maybe after one day they, they will uh, publish it and I watch there so to get an idea where it's going what's important for 30 minutes if you want more material you can watch the 3ABN also this one hour presentation very fast and very quick but it's uh, a lot of data a lot of information but this one I like it because uh, it's really the author so anyway most important things are what is in the references so what i have to do after watching and praying what to do is to read all of them you have to read all of them because in ellen g white book evangelism it says the preacher should connect all of the bible verses <laughs> to understand it okay so this is like 399 slides and you have 30 if you try to calculate 399 slides if you have 400 slides 
and you have 35 minutes. Eleven slides uh, per per minute. Yeah, divided uh, sixty minutes divided by eleven, sixty seconds divided by about five seconds per slide. You can finish three hundred ninety nine slides. <clears throat> so you have to be uh, fast, not wasting air air time and not wasting people's attention not wasting time so onto the list of this present okay and then we have what i do usually so this is the memory verse then the king will send to those who's right can you bless okay. inherit the foundation in as much as you have done it to the least I double click and then I highlight like this to the list you did it to me yeah okay the reason I do this is because I forgot the emphasis there's so much slides you are fast and if you don't if I don't do this I forget where I'm supposed to emphasize the goal is just to read all of them the word of God is so powerful even if you don't understand what you're reading sometimes <clears throat> the message goes through imperfect vessel the spirit of the lord came upon me because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor okay let's highlight poor because this is the list of our brethren and he has meant me to heal the brokenhearted okay let's highlight this because many people are brokenhearted and liberty to the, to the captives are focusing on the list of our brethren so i highlight 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 <coughs> comfort is nice word we have to emphasize that one and the day of revengeance yeah, vengeance is good if only for god Opening of the prison, those who are bound, proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord. Okay. So, that is what I do. And then in the presentation, when I reach PIC, you have to save this. Save this after you do it. And if possible, email it to somebody or email it to yourself. Put it in Drive because... You might lose all the highlights somewhere so that is how <clears throat> i do the how i make 399 slides in five minutes <laughs> and then how i read it you just have to click 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 and find the important things and all of this these are the important things you have to understand the important things and highlight the emphasis you can i i rarely reduce the text i just read fast and his custom was yeah custom was he went to the sabbath day and he stood up and read i like to this one <laughs> this is what i do in sabbath school in the synagogue and he stood up and read custom was he came into the synagogue on the sabbath it stood up and read ah, how amazing this verse is here <coughs> okay he opened the book and he read the spirit of the lord is this same thing so that is how i maybe uh if you need to review you can just scroll back the video i use ssnet <coughs> i watch it is written I have my splitter, the PHP and splitter too, just review. And then this is how I make the PowerPoint. And then you come with a microphone. I see we give you the microphone. The microphone only is connected to the live stream. It's not supposed to be heard <clears throat> in the house or in the church. And then you put the TV beside you. You have PowerPoint as much as possible. I have we have the clicker. But I always forget the clicker. It will save a lot of time. 
to have a clicker or you don't have to reach to the laptop. So all of those seconds count and all of those uh, efficiencies in how we do our work count so that we can utilize the time, very small time, to deliver as many verses as possible to those, to the sheep who are hungering for God's word. <clears throat> In my observation, I have may received many, many good comments and they said I should teach other people how to do it. So this is how I do it and I hope it helps you because it doesn't matter who says the word of God. It is the word of God that should be propagated to all the world by as many people as possible for our own benefit. Yeah? When we preach God's word, it passes through us. It's a great privilege and honor <clears throat> to spread God's word. Thank you and I hope it helps you, my friends. Bye-bye. God bless you all. One more thing. Why do I put so big text in the screen? The reason is I observed this in Amazing Facts. They put text, the lyrics and the Bible, lyrics of the songs very big, like almost one third of the screen. That's why it's called lower thirds. Big. And then I realized when you grow old, you have blurred eyes and you want to be kind to the old people. Another reason is that in the church, the projector is big. But if you make your text small, people at the back cannot read it. Yeah? And then we will, we will, uh, what is the, what, what is the PowerPoint for if the people cannot read it? And then you were going to wish that you had a big, 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 big uh, LED screen. You know how expensive the LED screen is? Each square is about 75,000. So if you multiply 7 by 5, it's about almost a million. That's just for the screen. And it's low resolution. And you cannot still read. It's just bright. Your small text still cannot be read. You have to have a big, 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 which cost millions squared because that is square uh, that is a uh, area you count how many x and how many y and you multiply the x and the y and multiply it by how much and that's how big your led screen it's supposed because you did not want to increase the size of your powerpoint text instead of wishing for all of those um, expensive things just increase your powerpoint font and you can read from a small TV from afar, yeah? And they have multiple slides, thousands or hundreds of slides. Here in this presentation, I have 1,800 slides. But everything is big and you don't need an LTD screen, you don't need a big laser projector. You can use your small TV. Uh, why do I put black and white? Because people who have vision impairment can read high contrast easier yeah black and white big font 60 percent of the people viewing online are viewing using their small cell phones so if you make your powerpoint small and then you try to fit the powerpoint 16 by 9 with your 16 by 9 video then both of you are small and what they can see is just the bar up there and the space down here so oh, I that's why I format my PowerPoint when I can con when I can control and we have enough time to set it up. I format my PowerPoint like this. Half of it is black, and we just key out the black. The text here is not black; it's just dark gray, so that they can see me with my expression and hands and facial expression this is for communication purposes when you uh, zoom in they can understand you more even if they, it's multimedia communication they hear they see the text big like it's jumping to them and then they can see your facial expressions to add emphasis and add uh, what is this the, the communication thing so yeah, make it big 
so that all for all people so that to lessen expense you don't need a big screen just make the font big and uh, so that it will also be fast like click 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 you, the, the the people will not be bored because you're clicking 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 and reading clicking if they don't read they will miss click click it's like this is how life has become with all of this uh tiktok and short videos and so on the attention span has become short therefore make the slide short click 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 the pacing of the video try to pace the video like how current video literature is paced you look at the most popular videos in youtube it is paced fast yeah it is paced fast yeah so intelligently paced because paced p-a-c-e so because they expect intelligent people to be watching yeah i hope that helps have a nice day my friend